The Rolls-Royce on a mission to modernize its engine test facilities in Indiana. Major projects at two Indiana facilities have been announced that will take five years to complete with an investment of some $400 million and include a new facility to test the modern gas turbine engines that are manufactured here in Indianapolis and also high altitude hybrid electrical and hypersonics testing in West Lafayette. With more on the projects, the commitment and the impact in Indiana, pleased to be joined by the head of assembly and test for the U.S. at Rolls-Royce Defense, Warren White. Warren, always great to have you on the show. Very pleasure to be here to talk about Rolls-Royce and the investments we're making in Indiana, and it's a great place to do business here. Yeah, huge investment uh, several years ago, $600 million, really a total remake of operations uh, in the near, uh, the kind of southwest side here. You're in part of that new space. What do we see behind you? Because there's, uh, there's a lot going on back there. Yeah, I'm actually in one of our near west side facilities here that we have modernized. What's uh, behind me over my, my right shoulder here is a lift fan system. It goes in the F-35B uh, Lightning, and uh, it, it produces about 20,000 pounds of thrust and vertically takes that aircraft off of a, of, of a carrier deck or off of the ground and gets it moving to uh, defend us. Yeah, the amazing uh, innovation and technology going on right here in Indianapolis. Well, let's, uh, Warren, talk about that because that project, $600 million uh, really remake of the Rolls-Royce facilities, really set the stage uh, for these additional investments that now are happening uh, here in, uh, in Indiana. Yeah, it sure did, uh, Gary. So again, you know, when you modernize with manufacturing assembly, which we've done and been grateful to do here with the, the great uh, workforce we have here, both engineering, our UAW teams here in Indianapolis, we attract new things like last fall's B-52 announcement, which we're delighted uh, to be able to make that iconic aircraft engine here in Indianapolis. And, and with things like that and the Army program we're working on now and, and other opportunities in front of us, uh, that $400 million for testing is a necessary and a really innovative piece that Rolls Race is doubling down on here yeah. in Indiana. We do research, development, and uh, testing for our production engines as well. Yeah, there's a big B 52 right there we're showing on the screen. Hey, talk about this latest announcement $400 million will be essentially split mm -hmm. $200 million or so here in Indianapolis, $200 million up in West Lafayette. What's going to happen here, uh, be happening here with the project in Indianapolis? Yeah, at Indianapolis specifically, the $200 million we're investing is, is in our modern gas turbine technology. It's for production and development of full engines here uh, in the city. Uh, that, that adds upon what we do in our manufacturing and assembly areas here. Uh, and we're really looking forward to that investment here. It, it modernizes, it takes our efficiencies, it improves them, and it sets us up for a net zero journey, which we're on as a company to lower our emissions, but also lower our energy consumption here as we make modern gas turbine engines. Okay, let's talk about the investment, similar investment in West Lafayette. The Purdue uh, Aerospace uh, uh, development up there is really uh, taking shape. Rolls-Royce has had a long relationship with Purdue. This is big for, for West Lafayette and that region as well. Yeah, we're, 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 we're happy to work with the Tippecanoe County uh, folks up there in the West Lafayette, uh, the mayor and, and their office, but, uh, you know, doubling down really with research and development in, in, in high volumes with Purdue. We've had decades long relationship as you alluded to there, and we're happy to continue that trend as we hire a lot of uh, Purdue engineers here and, and really get a lot of innovation out of that campus. And so it's a fantastic area on the aerospace district there. Well, you mentioned talent and Purdue, uh, but talent in general, what do investments, massive investments like this mean uh, in your view for Rolls Royce, but also more broadly for Indiana when it comes to <clears throat> what's next uh, in terms of innovation and technology and a keeping, but also attracting talent to the state? Yeah, you know, the governor's been very clear about his mission to, you know, triple aerospace uh, mm -hmm. in Indiana. And uh, we're, we're proud to be a big part of that mission of his. We are attracting talent, innovation, and technology here in ways like hybrid electrics, in ways like hypersonics that you mentioned earlier and things we're doing with Purdue. And frankly, the, the modernization of sustainable aviation and the fuels and the, and the things that we're working on here in our new platforms and the ones we have today going in production. So... You know, that kind of investment spurs that, it spurs the talent, and, uh, you know, it's a great place to do business here in Indiana. Warren White uh, from Rolls-Royce, uh, amazing projects, massive investment with big impact uh, here in Indiana. Warren, as always, thanks for joining us. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, Gary. Talk to you guys soon. All right.